Good morning, Anna. So happy to have you here today. I would like you to introduce yourself. I know you're a natural part, but can you detail a little bit more about your activity? Yes. Um, well, it's been over 17 years that I'm a natural path and I practice reflexology as well. Uh, what I mostly like to specialize in is holistic nutrition, detoxification, digestive system and wellness um, for women and children and pregnancy. Um, I feel that uh, naturopathy is a, is a great way to go about to um, get to have a better quality of life. So that's, that's about who I am. I um, seen many different cases, uh, but at this point, uh, we we're going to go through the questions. So I guess uh, I'll let you go and answer, uh, give me the uh, questions that you'd like me to answer. Thank you. You're welcome. Now you see from my background, I very much go with the concept of yin and yang. Positivity and negativity. That's a dark side of everything as well as the bright side. How does uh, naturopathy embrace this concept and how does naturopathy help people? They lost their balance. They have mood changes or uh, even depression. Well, if the thing about Let's, for instance, uh, talk about a bit about depression. Uh, most people, when they are feeling ill or have certain symptoms of, um, for example, not being able to sleep or eating less, um, these are, these are uh, issues that we should really take care of right away, nip it in the butt. If we don't nip it in the butt, these situations can get worsened as we go uh, along. Um, so there are various ways to take care and treat depression in the naturopathic way. So what we try to look at is the root cause of the problem. So it's everything is intertwined. You have the physical, the mental, the emotional well-being so it, we need to look at this so when I look at a patient I look at these el elements and it's, it's very it's very holistic integrated medicine in naturopathy the way I uh, personally like to treat or help people um, create a better quality of life for them so to me um, there's uh, there's many ways to um, to help people with depression. You can help them with herbal nutrition, uh, vitamins, minerals, detoxification. Each case is very different. Um, a client we treat it as unique. It's individual, and we assess it with a health appraisal. Have answers to the questions that they will be answering. And uh, we go from there. there. There's a lot of steps to go to. And if depending on how long someone has had uh, an ailment of depression or whether it be digestive problem, um, it takes as long to create a better quality of life. So in, in a nutshell, I believe that balance is one of the things that we are looking for. So it's very important to make sure that we create that with uh, the client or patient that we see. So that's very important. I see, so you have a holistic approach and each person it's uh, different, it's an individual case, treat uh, it as such. And then if we go back to the concept of yin and yang, do we still, do we really need to fight negativity in order to be positive? How does naturopathy think about that? Well, I'll speak for myself. Um, I believe that we must concentrate and focus on the positiveness and not the negative. 
Um, the more we concentrate on the positive, the, the more the negative will subside. So there is an analogy that I like to use from Peter A. Levine, and I'd like to read it to you. It's, it says here, as the tree continues to develop, the wound becomes relatively small in proportion to the size of the tree. So this anal analogy tells you that the, the more we focus on the positive, the more we do good things, the less there's negativity. So that being said, this is our focus, is look at the positiveness. So when in naturopathy, holistic naturopathy, in the integrative, integrative um, naturopathy, which I like to um, be a part of, I always say that let's look at the strengths, let's look at the positive, and slowly the negative will subside. So that's what I find the importance of each person. Now, it's, it sometimes can be a little hard uh, for some people to see the positiveness, right? So how do we create that to jump from negativity to more positiveness? It's giving more, um, more focus into the positive. Yes, yes. Sense? Broaden our our embracement to positivity, like from a path to a road. Of, uh, exactly, exactly. An objective, I would say, right? It's like to, if we have the objective or our goal is to be happy, what do we need to do to be happy? Right? Yeah. Uh, and there's many, many and things to do. This is a very interesting topic, but let's see for example, how naturopathy can help with anxiety or some other ailments that uh, naturopathy can help us with. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, uh, there is detoxification. I think the number one thing that is important to do is cleansing our bodies, okay? Um, like I mentioned earlier, each individual is unique and the uh, protocol is going to be different for each person. So I really like to uh, specifically get to know the individual with a health appraisal to be able to know what would be the best tools and techniques for this person. Because some people don't want to change their diet. Some people just want to take uh, natural supplements. I always try to let people know that there's an importance of like again, a balance. So we need to use certain things. It's just not one thing that you need to do. For example, you, Sebastian, uh, you're a massotherapist. You do. A, you also do Tai Chi. Um, this and many more stuff that we we will we can elaborate. But uh, in in my case, you see, we got to work integrated all together. If this person comes and and works on the body and also works on their health, uh, food, for example, their nutrition, cleansing the body. Um, some, some need emotional uh, help because they've been traumatized or there's something. So it's all interlinked. So it's all interconnected. So if we go back to your question, I'm sorry, uh, if there's something that I would like to add on to it, there's, many ways to go about it. So there's supplement, supplementation, detoxification, boosting your immune system, looking at exercises that you need to do, uh, sleep uh, deprivation, are you sleeping well, aren't you sleeping well, your environment. So these are all the tools that are, as a naturopath we're gonna look at. So as you said before, a holistic approach. Exactly, it's more integrated which means that we're not only looking at a physical aspect of someone coming to see me and saying, well, um, I need supplements. We're not just there to just give supplements. Uh, that's not a, how I like to work. 
I like to get to know the person and, and really see if this person really wants to reach that road of wellness and a better quality of life. So in order to do that, if you're in, in depression, well, there's a few things that we, we need to do. So if we go back to the yin and the yang and that we need negative and positive, well, let's look to see how we can balance this. So we need to look at your nutrition. We need to look at what you're taking right now. How is your immune system? And there's several ways to go about this. I also uh, offer a DNA testing, a blueprint testing, which people can get to know a little bit more about their, um, their well, how their bodies are functioning. It's a very interesting uh, testing to help, apart from the health appraisal, I say, that can help uh, find other ways, uh, such as, for example, a, ver a little example, is that what type of vitamin A you need or what type of vitamin D you need. In the market, for instance, they'll say, well, you know, you must take a, a vegan vitamin D. It has to be a vitamin D3. Well, yes, most, in most cases, yes. But some people can absorb certain things that others cannot absorb. So this DNA testing will give you a lot in terms of different systems, such as hormonal, um, uh, emotional uh, exercise. So it's a very interesting test, but this is something that we can talk about at another time and elaborate because it's a, uh, there is lots uh, to look at. But on my website, there's uh, uh, on the resource and um, page, there is a lot of information on that. So um, I hope I have questions. So if you have, feel free to Thank help. You. So your approach is very professional, yet you support people and adjusting their lifestyle in, in all ways, in all ways to direct them towards uh, wellness. Yes, I, I believe I, I like to do this because I, I, I like to see a happy smile when a client comes to see me after their first and second and third follow-up and here they are they're extremely happy with the the results and it just makes things so much better in your life you feel like you've contributed in and in, in this life and you've made someone be enlightened of how wow this is a change and i didn't know that this existed and all along it existed and it's just simple steps that needs to be done in order to uh, get to that. And if you are to say one thing that, we, that will inspire us towards alternative healing, what that will be? Well, there is one thing I like to say all the time is good health is good living. So don't wait for tomorrow to get healthy when you can start today. So that would be my inspiration is start now and do something about your health because it's your number one priority in your life. If you don't feel well within yourself, it creates a sense of, of loss and non, not well-being and just start just you know go to the step and there's so much out there so much information such beautiful people that can help and uh, that's what i encourage people to do i think that uh, a lot of time when we're having discomfort we do not know that this is related to our health condition so this is like a wake up call what you are saying and it's wonderful. I know also that you practice uh, physical activities. What's the connection between naturopathy and the active lifestyle? How do you see that? Um, I like to I like to practice yoga. So every day I practice yoga, and I do have an active lifestyle. I like to walk and run. Um, I see myself as 
um, a person that will just need to help others to create a healthier lifestyle. Can you, can you uh, repeat that question again so I can... Oh, yes, oh, yes, for sure. So uh, my question was, uh, how does natural body see the, the active lifestyle? Or yes, oh, yes. So it's, it's about wellness. I think that like when I practice yoga, I find that it gives me the sense of calmness and clarity that when I'm with clients, um, I can give my, my higher self and to help them. Um, it gives me a clearer mind and a clearer path to be able to help uh, my clients. I feel that um, it's, a, it's a balance. So when I am active in my lifestyle, it, it gives me the energy, the balance, the vitality to just be on top of things and to, and to be able to help others and inspire others. When I'm feeling good and, and they just speak to me and I'm, I'm just um, in a sense of a higher self, I, I just, I, it's just a natural thing for me because I've been doing this for many, many years. So the answer, it's, it's hard for me to kind of come up with a specific answer to that. I think it's just an experience that you also go through. So when you're, you're doing this and you're exercising, uh, you feel better. Uh, you know, it, it, it creates, it creates uh, endorphins, right? You, you have more positiveness, you're happier, you feel great, there's more oxygen going to your brain. Um, you have no aches and pains. So it's just a better quality of life. So this is why I, I, I really tell people, do something for yourself to, to feel better about your life. Don't wait till you have so many aches and pains to be able to do something because then it's much harder. It's like someone wanting to lose weight, but they're on the path of emotional eating, for example, this is something that is hard for some people and they don't know where to start. And so it's, it's a vicious circle. There's negativity in their mind or they're always thinking, oh, oh, I did not do well in my diet today. So let me continue. And I'm, I'm just going to eat my emotions again. So it's to get out of that rut. So if we go back to the positiveness, how do we create or what do I think about negative and the positiveness and how, what's my thought in that process? Focus on the positive, start with positive and the negative will subside. It always does. It's, it always does. And um, I think that that's, that's the way to go about it. I think you are in a position of hidden treasures that you have to open to people. And I would like to ask about your yoga practice. Do you include also meditation in your practice? And how does it help in your uh, professional life? I do, actually. I have been uh, more than ever before practicing meditation. So um, when I wake up every morning, for one, I like to listen to my healing music that allows me to take that five or 10 minutes to just meditate and not have anything in my mind, just to feel free. And at the same time, I incorporate my yoga afterwards. Um, the sounds, the sounds of healing help me. So I find anything that can, I just don't only focus on one thing, but Every morning, it's, it's like a daily ritual to do a meditation and to do um, a yoga practice um, to help uh, balance the body, I find. I find that I, I feel more in my body and 
and just in my heart, in my expression to be able to give more to others. I feel that when I'm doing this, it allows me to go and, and, and touch people and connect with them in a better, in a better way. Well, I think all this is so inspirational. And oh, I, I think you are going to motivate many, many people in the future. And people, they can follow you not only as a therapist, as a practitioner, physician, but also as an example of well-balanced life. And I would like to ask, how can people, they can reach to you? What are the channels to find you? Well, I have a website, um, Nature Anna Health Concept. They can reach me over the phone or email. And uh, I have a wonderful resource page with links with different therapists that I work with um, that are fantastic because it just comes and englobals um, the rest of other tools that can be really uh, amazing for, uh, for anyone else that would like to find other techniques uh, for themselves to be in the path of well-being. So there is the, the website and most of the time that's how they can uh, reach me. I have a calendar where they can book online and make an appointment. And everything is there. I have a blog with lots of information for people that just want to uh, take a look and, and look through uh, from boosting the immune system, from uh, detoxification. There's so many wonderful articles there that people can take a look at. I, the links are very important to me. I've just added another link as well now that's alternative healing website which will be on my resource page, which also allows some of my articles to be there. Uh, but really, um, I really encourage people to go to the website. They will find lots of information that can be interesting. And um, so it's natureanna.ca. I'm sure that you will have it placed for them if anyone would like to contact and uh, look at it into more details. Well, thank you very much. It was wonderful having this conversation. I hope everything will be perfect and uh, be well. Enjoy life. Thank you, Anna. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste. Have a good day. Thank you. You too.